All right, Piggy. This is the launch CRP123X. Some sellers call it the CRP123E, and they say that the X is a slightly more professional version. I'm not too sure about that. They just changed the name. Now, it takes about 30 seconds to start up, which is a, probably a little bit slow for a professional workshop. But once it's on, it does a really good job. These two little connectors at the top here took me quite a long time to get them both in all the way. I found that either one or the other s stuck halfway, but if I turn it half a turn each and just keep going down like that, it goes in nicely. It's a pretty sturdy construction. I don't know if that's twin speak speakers at the back there, but it's got a nice grip. And as you can see, it's started up now. And the data here is where you get your pictures that you've saved. Upgrade is actually update. OBD2 you'll use when you want to try and get into any car, regardless of model. Diagnose is when it's trying to search all the models. Um, I am reading this if you want to see what the computer thinks is and isn't ready on the systems that it monitors. It can sometimes be useful. I once had a Lexus with an oxygen sensor that wasn't working. And the IM readiness showed that it wasn't ready, but there were no fault codes. So you can find things in the IM readiness that you can't find in the normal diagnostics. Battery voltage is quite interesting too. You can put it in and turn the key on and crank the engine and see what happens. A very good feature is the built-in battery, because that also means that when you crank the engine, the scan tool doesn't die. I have quite a few at work there that as soon as you crank the engine, scan tool dies because the battery voltage drops too low. It's not exactly an oscilloscope but it's showing that the battery dropped to about 9 volts um, on the initial crank which is acceptable. What I have on here, that's the screenshot turned on. Go into the settings, the option for screen capture which turns the little icon off and on. I'll just leave it on. Automatic detection on contact, on connect. So that is an auto VIN search so that when you plug it into the car, it automatically does a, a search. Really quite a noise, annoying noise, but it's useful if your vehicle has auto VIN. My 2400 doesn't have it, but I can go down here to Honda and do a search and it'll bring up all the modules that are available. Sorry Piggy. Is this not acceptable? Alright, I'll move in closer so I can get a better picture of the screen. Alright, now we've got the screen bigger. When I go into my Honda it asks if I want the 16 pin or the 3 pin. That is 16 pin goes to automatic connection. Okay. Uh, we go to a system scan. See what it's got in it. Now the interesting thing is that it says it's a four system scanner, but it finds a few other systems ex including electric power steering. It looks for them on the vehicle. So I don't know if that's just part of the package or something to do with the updates. When I first got it and I connected up to the Wi-Fi, you hook it up to your Wi-Fi, it's Android based, and then you enter your email address and then you can actually take a snapshot of the screen and email it to yourself for printing, which is very useful and it looks pretty professional to customers. If you can give them a graph of something that was wrong with their vehicle. So we go to the engine ECU. Wi-Fi is very useful and also as I say the built-in battery that's very handy especially if you, your battery is a bit down and you've got a scan tool plugged in with no built-in battery and you crank the engine and the scan tool dies and you've got to log in all over again which can be a, a real nuisance. So we'll go to 
auto select for the live data it selected everything I'm going to unselect stuff and then we're going to go and look at stuff like air fuel ratio and oxygen sensors um, let me see what it's got available actually I'll just select everything and then it can show me and then what it also shows you on the right hand side shows you if a graph is available so if I go to combine it tells me ask me which ones I want to combine so we'll take some graphs stop that recording that I accidentally started we won't start that that's a very useful feature to be able to record graphs while you're driving and then go back later and play them back on your computer just for fun barometric sensor now it's showing us a graph you can see the different colors the blue there is air fuel ratio and we've got airflow sensor in the purple and blue in the alternator give it a bit of a ref now it auto ranges the graph so that if you suddenly got a big spike it's going to level out all those patterns over there with the yellow which is our barometric pressure which obviously isn't going to change much and then what you can do we've got our screenshot turned on so I can click on screenshot it takes a picture now that is saved so we go back out of this we go to the information in the beginning Still getting used to working with it. So we exit that. Really quick, yes. Why else would I push backspace? Go to the data, go to the image, and there's the picture I took. You select it, and then you click share, and it goes to the email address you've entered. Now I'm not in range of my Wi Fi. So it's not going to work, but it worked pretty good what it did. It sent me a picture to a link, and you click on the link and it downloads your file. It doesn't send the picture itself straight to your email address. When I first plugged this in and hooked it up to the Wi-Fi, it showed me about 26 updates that were available. I just clicked, selected them all, clicked on download, and it downloaded and installed 26 updates for me. That's a really handy feature because there's a lot of budget scan tools out there that if you want to upgrade them you've got to take out the card and install a program and then download it from the program onto the card and then plug the card back into the scan tool and then upload it again. You don't have to do this. Do it with this. So there's no updates and um, all in all I'd say I'm pretty impressed with this and I think I'm going to use it quite a bit at our workshop and um, I haven't had it for a long time but I can certainly advise this tool because even simply the graphing feature puts a lot of our very expensive scan tools to shame.